Hey everybody, Hilton Yam here of 108 Performance. Welcome to the 108 Performance Lab. Are you looking for a new appendix in the waistband holster that also has a magazine pouch attached to it? Well, look no further. We've got a solution for you here from LAS Concealment, the Ronin 3.0. Stay tuned and we'll talk all about it. There are a lot of makers offering a uh, combination uh, holster and appendix magazine carriers uh, together as a combo. It's kind of become a thing now. And uh, I have uh, been using LAS concealment holsters for a little bit now. And uh, the Ronin 3.0 is their latest iteration of their offering for the gun uh, with no light in place. And of course, the additional magazine uh, on the other side of it. And it is joined in the middle with a uh, shock cord joint that allows the rig to flex, as you can see here, uh, for additional comfort. A lot of users like the added convenience of having the whole rig stuck together. Uh, I had tried this actual rig before back in episode 24 uh, when I talked about appendix in the waistband holster options for the 2011 pistols and uh, been running this Glock one. Um, I had some issues with the holster initially uh, when I was running the setup in episode 24 uh, for the roundup of holsters. I'll leave a link for you guys to check out that episode. Uh, but my issue was that I would grab, uh, when I grab my shirt to clear the garment, I would end up uh, striking or hitting the magazine carrier and then ejecting the magazine out. I'd pull it out and uh, out it went. Uh, so that became an issue and uh, I had largely dismissed the setup for a bit and only recently decided to revisit it when I saw uh, some students in one of my classes just absolutely burning it down uh, with one of these type of rigs on. And I asked a few questions about how they were able to be successful with it. So I got the rigs back out and uh, gave them a try. And I've got a couple setup tricks that will help you uh, probably get more success with it as well. The main thing that I figured out with the setup is to make sure that the ride height is appropriate. As far as the pistol's ride height, uh, that I consider relatively non-negotiable in the sense that you need to be able to get a, a complete firing grip uh, so that uh, it doesn't ride so low that, the, for example, the front strap rides at the belt line so that you can't get your hand in there. All right, so if you have a holster that's set up and it sits that low, you've got to raise it up. So uh, this sits such that I can get uh, a full firing grip on the gun. Uh, but the most important part that I needed to decipher was where to put the magazine pouch. So I ended up ordering a number of different magazine pouches. And uh, you can see here that I carry, this is a Glock 19X uh, magazine. So it's a 17 round magazine with a plus two uh, extension on there, factory one. Uh, so it is basically a Glock 17 plus two magazine. If you, uh, Old timers, remember that's what it used to be called before they came out with the 19X. Anyway, that's the reload that I carry. I carry a Glock 19, uh, so it sticks out a little bit out of the gun for the reload, but it's a non-factor. So carrying it in the uh, support side of the rig, uh, the main thing that I had figured out uh, was important was to get a magazine pouch that allowed the magazine to sit lower. So when you order it, you'd be ordering the magazine pouch for the longer magazine and then running a whatever length magazine that you have. Uh, with the Glock 19, you've got a few choices. Uh, you could run the 15 round Glock 19 flush fit magazine, uh, which sits really low in uh, a longer magazine pouch. Uh, you could run a flush fit Glock 17 mag, which obviously is not flush fit in a 19, uh, but you could run that 17 round magazine. It's kind of short in the longer mag setup. And then lastly, I've got the setup here that you see. Uh, the magic point that I have found is that if you can get the top of the magazine uh, to sit just below or uh, roughly flush with the 
back of the slide uh, that will give you enough space so that when you go to grab your garment uh, you are not crashing into uh, something that your hand isn't really expecting to be there. Uh, as long as you're not higher than the back of the slide, uh, I think that's a pretty good setup because your, your hand is kind of expecting the back of the gun to be where it is. So that's, that's why that's a good landmark. So what's it like running the double setup uh, with basically twice as much gun stuff in the front of your waistband? Uh, initially, I was kind of turned off by the concept because I had been running a very long magazine. In my 2011, I was running the 20 round magazine in a uh, fairly high sitting magazine pouch so the gun. Uh, the magazine rather was sitting above the level of the gun and it really poked uh, my midsection some bit uh, such that my mobility was very restricted like I couldn't bend over to tie my shoes. Uh, I will offer that if your day is going to consist of you tying your shoes all day or something or in a deep crouch uh, there is no appendix rig that's going to make you super happy. All right, that, that's not the day to wear an appendix rig. Uh, that said, uh, the uh, revised magazine pouch positioning that I'm suggesting uh, is more comfortable, a little bit more mobility than the uh, excessive height that you'd get from a different magazine pouch configuration. Uh, so that helps a lot. All right, I think that's a real important key to it. As far as the concealment in the front, as long as I'm wearing a shirt that is appropriately cut, uh, it doesn't even need to be one size too large. Like I can wear a true sizing as long as it's not one that's like skin tight or whatever. Uh, I can get away with pretty reasonable concealment. Uh, there's obviously some concessions if you change positions such that it pulls the shirt against you or whatnot. Uh, but as I've mentioned before in my other episode about appendix carry, uh, it is positioned so that it's very easy for you to position your hands, carry it objects, uh, things like that in front of you to hide any kind of printing that you might have. Uh, so uh, I don't consider that too huge of an issue. If it is absolutely a huge issue that you can't print at all, then obviously uh, wear a larger shirt, but I don't consider that I, I absolutely have to to make this rig work. The biggest advantage that I see for running the dual rig is that the same grab that I would use to clear the garment to draw the pistol is the same exact movement that I use to clear the garment to access the magazine versus having uh, two different support hand movements to clear the garment. Uh, for example, if I had a uh, hip mounted uh, magazine pouch, then I would need to have a different draw stroke to grab it from underneath the shirt on my hip. So I like having the same draw stroke for both of the uh, items in my rig. I think that's that's pretty big one for the efficiency of training and the efficiency of the draw stroke. Getting the ride heights of the magazine, the spare magazine that you're going to carry is going to be key. I would consider that it would be a good idea when ordering a holster is to order the array of available mag pouches, especially if you change your mind like one day, hey, I'm carrying, say you're carrying a Glock 19 and hey, I think I'm going to carry the 15 round magazine. Then you change your mind. Well, it's kind of a, a bit easier if you've got the different magazine pouches all on hand so you can get the ride height and the magazine length set the way that you want. If watching this video makes you want your own rig your own Ronin 3.0, you can head over to lasconcealment.com and order one using coupon code 108P. You get 15% off your order. I am a huge, huge fan of the work that uh, they're doing at LAS Concealment. The quality, the build quality of the holsters is exceptional. Uh, they use CNC uh, cut molds Everything is super clean. The lines are nice and geometric. The edges are well finished. Uh, just great craftsmanship. Something that you'll notice is you are not going to see videos here about me talking about gear that I don't like. I have no time in the day to produce media about stuff I hate. So if you see it here, uh, I use it. And if you see me out teaching or taking a class, you'll see me using the gear that I talk about. So uh, it's a no BS stance from me here at 10A Performance.
As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing and hopefully telling all of your friends to come do the same. If you like the content, help support the channel because it's otherwise for free to you. Uh, but come on over to 10aperformance.com, get some merch, got uh, shirts, hats, other stuff for your guns. You could get uh, sights, magazine, base pads, all kinds of cool stuff for your different pistols so that you can show that you are a supporter of the 10.8 Performance way. You can also head over to the website and check out the training section and see if you want to come out and train with me. I have a select number of locations that I'll be hitting uh, next year or whenever it is you watch the video and uh, check those out. Come on over to wherever I am teaching. Come train with me. I guarantee you'll have a good time and learn a lot of stuff. Appreciate the support. Until next time, I'm Hilton Yam of 10A Performance, and only performance counts. Yeah.